On the night of June 21, 2020, a horrific murder took place in Marrocks, Louisiana. A young woman, Angela Molden, was brutally stabbed to death by a man she knew, Dexter Mutongirwa. The killer then drove away with her body in the back seat of his SUV until he crashed on the interstate highway and was arrested by the police. Dexter Mutongero was born in Zimbabwe and moved to the United States in 2012. He settled in Tolleson, Arizona, where he worked as a juvenile caseworker for the Arizona Department of Child Services. In 2019, he was assigned to assist Angela Malden, an 18-year-old girl who had run away from home in Louisiana. Angela was a rebellious teenager who had a troubled past and a history of drug abuse. She had been in and out of foster care and had no contact with her biological father. Dexter Mutongirwa tried to help her to get back on track and offered to take her back to her mother in Louisiana. According to Angela's mother, Andrea Graham Porter, and other relatives, Dexter developed romantic interest in Angela and wanted to be in a relationship with her. However, Angela did not reciprocate his feelings and rejected his advances. She told her family that he was creepy and possessive and that he had threatened to kill her if she did not love him back. She also said that he had given her a ring which she had thrown away. Dexter did not accept her rejection and became enraged. He decided to make one more visit to Angela and planned to kill her if she refused him again. On the night of the murder, Dexter drove to Angela's house in Moreau, where she lived with her mother and her stepfather. He parked his SUV in front of her house and waited for Angela to come out. At around 11 p.m., Angela left the house to meet a friend and got into Dexter's vehicle. He then attacked her with a knife and stabbed her multiple times in the face the neck, the torso, and hands. He inflicted aggressive and deep wounds which caused massive blood loss and internal injuries. Angela fought back and managed to wound Dexter's hand, but she could not escape. She died in the back seat of the SUV while Dexter drove away. Shortly after midnight, Dexter lost control of his vehicle and crashed on the westbound Interstate 10 in Kenna, near Williams Boulevard exit. A police officer who responded to the scene noticed a large cut on Dexter's hand and asked him to step out of the SUV. That is when another officer spotted Angela's body inside the vehicle and called for backup. Dexter was taken into custody and transported to the hospital for treatment. While in custody, he reportedly confessed to the murder and said that it happened at Moreau earlier in the night. He was charged with second degree murder and held without bond. The murder of Angela Molden shocked and saddened her family, friends, and the community. She was remembered as a beautiful, smart, and loving person who had a bright future ahead of her. She had just graduated from high school and was planning to attend college and pursue a career in nursing. Dexter is still in custody and is yet to stand trial.